And we are here with another Guild War Scout. This time we are going to be t doing Tower 4. And for this tower, they only have uh, two separate taunt sources. The first one is going to be from Lloyd. And there's no way to stop Lloyd's taunt unless Lloyd was already buff blocked before he ever moves. And then there's Albion as well, which is bestowing taunt onto Mamo and Jin. Now, for Albion, the surefire way to block all of his taunts is to use a Viper 7 in mid lane, which we are not doing here. But if you were to do that, you would stop all the taunts from Albion before they even go off. Um, but we're not going to be doing that here. So, the way we're tanking the initial lanes is I have Levia top tanking the Mammonier and the Lloyd. Mid lane... I have my Mamo tanking the Alec, and my Lucius tanking the Valze. And then bot lane, I have my Velfern tanking the Seto, and my Valtor tanking the Jin. Now they have no mages, so they're all going to be moving both rounds. And for spells, they have Gungnir on Warrior and Falcon on Warrior. So the easy way to approach this is just to not use any Warriors at all. So I have a Sula Mage Comp with defenders as well. Now, uh, the way this is going to play out is I have Viper in the lower lane as well as Orochi in the lower lane. So what that's going to do is reduce Seto and Jin down to uh, single HP. And the purpose of that is we will be able to easily kill them with Lumen round two. Um, this will also allow us to pop Vinaka. The way that's going to happen is Vinaka will become low HP, and then my Nartis round 2 will hit mid lane, doing dealing damage to the Warriors and killing Vinaka. Once Vinaka is dead, I will be able to kill the Warriors. So the basic kill that's going to happen is, yes, we are going to use Nartis first, hit mid lane. It will not only kill all of the Warriors mid, but will also kill Vinaka. Once Vinaka is dead, we can use Lumen to hit Seto and Jin bot, and that will kill both of them. So with mid and bot dead, all we have left is top lane. So then we will follow up with Celia into Levia on Mamonir. My Velfern will pop the first life of Floyd. And then we will just continue to uh, clean up round two. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and double check all of the runes and spells once more. Just to make sure. The enemy is not using any of the two new units, Slain or Ledecrad, which it makes this a little bit easier because Leda is really difficult to deal with. That looks good so far. And might look good so far. Let's we'll double check the spells. It's a warrior. And this next one is also a warrior. And then Viper is lower lane. Oh, the reason why I'm doing Viper lower lane is to um, block the Vinaka buff on two warriors, which that means Alec will essentially be unbuffed and will not pop my Mammonier right away, which means my Mammo will live. Uh, there's still a chance that uh, Valze will pop Lucius round one and round two. So yeah, I have Viper bot lane and I have Orochi in the bot lane. So let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, so they go a three-unit intro. So Albion is taunting. And there goes the gen. All right, so here we go. We go a long chain, an eight chain. No problems at all. Just stalling out the first round. And see, my Mammonier has not been popped yet, so this is good. My Lucius, though, is on his second life. So here we go. Now Nardis is going to hit mid. Kill all three and kill the Vinaka. And now we nuke bot lane. Boom. Trade our Lumen. And now we did... <coughs> Excuse me. Now we just need to work on top lane. Oh, right. Levy got taunted onto... Um, Lloyd. That's okay, though. 
Working on the Mammon Ear. She is almost popped. Nardis should do that here. There we go. Now her energy guard will expire soon. And we just need to clean this up before we run out of turns. Which it looks like we will. Come on. There we go. Two turns to spare. So 48 turns. Running it pretty close because with mages we don't do anything rounds th uh, 1, 3, and 5. But that worked out. And we 3 started. 